Hello and peace to all of my beautiful crown heads. We are here today to go over three types of women that all men should never date, you should always avoid and just never deal with, okay? Now, I feel like this quick little dope discussion will be beneficial because you know, my platform is majority male. And a lot of you guys come to me as your little big sister um, asking for advice or asking for what to look out for as far as dealing with women. And so I thought this would be the perfect quick little dope discussion to have just to keep you guys alert. Okay. Now, the first thing that we have on our list out of the three types of women not to date is the narcissistic type of chick. Okay. Now the narcissistic type of woman, she's going to always make everything about her. She's going to always try to find a way to be the, the main character, if you will, in every story. Even if it's your time to shine, even if, you know, it's time to celebrate you, she's going to find a way to turn it all around to make it something to where she needs to be glorified and she needs to be highlighted and she needs to be celebrated. She is a type of female, you guys, to where you can be excited about something that happened for you right? Let's say that you got a promotion or let's say that you uh, opened a brand new business or let's say that you got some kind of bonus, right? Something that really highlighted your efforts, highlighted your accomplishments. Well, the narcissistic type of female, she will even turn your successes into hers. She'll make you feel like you wouldn't have reached whatever level or height that you were able to reach on your own without her. Oh yeah, you were able to only get that bonus because I was around. You know, you were only able to get that promotion because I was there supporting you. You know, you were you were only able to open that business because I, I, I is always going to go back to her. Right. And the reason why this type of female is very dangerous to deal with is because you'll find yourself constantly in these situations to where um, you have to kind of fight against her because everything is about her. She's very selfish. She's very entitled. She's very self-centered. And she's always going to diminish you and devalue you. And this is extremely unhealthy for anybody to be in this type of relationship dynamic. When we're dealing with somebody, we need to feel valued. We need to be respected. Um, we need to be appreciated. And dealing with a narcissistic female, she's never going to allow you to have your moment. You're going to always find yourself having to battle and compete for things that should be automatically granted to you, especially in your successful moments, in those moments to where you should be highlighted and you should be the focus. So steer clear of the narcissistic type of female because, again, she's going to be very draining. She's going to be very toxic. And you just don't have time to deal with a selfish, self-centered individual. All right. All right. Now, moving on to the second thing on our list, as far as one of the three types of females or women that you don't date, is the very childish type of individual. Now, I don't want you guys to get this misconstrued. All right. There's nothing wrong with dealing with a woman to where she is bubbly and she's lively. And, you know, she has this fresh new energy to her to where maybe she's playful and things of that sort. That's not what I'm talking about in this instance. When I say childish, I'm talking about the type of female 
that always has to um, throw these fits when she doesn't get her way. She never wants to step up to the plate to be the woman. Instead, she wants to throw hissy fits whenever she wants something out of you or she wants something done. Again, this is very childlike, childish behavior. Um, this type of chick, she's going to pout. She's going to always nitpick. Um, she's going to be the type of female that never wants to take responsibility and accountability as a woman and do what is necessary in your life as your woman. She's going to always look to you to take care of her, to do things for her, things that she is fully capable of doing on her own, right? And the reason why this can be extremely pr problematic is because there's going to be a lot of instances, especially as it pertains to relationships, to where you're not going to have the time or the energy to have to drop what you're doing as a man to go out and do something that, again, she is fully capable of doing on her own as a woman. You know, this is the type of chick, for example, to where she'll be like, oh, babe, can you, um, can you wash my dishes for me? Oh, babe, can you wash my clothes for me? Oh, babe, would you mind doing X, Y, and Z? You know, and maybe you already have a full plate, right? Maybe you already have a bunch of things on your to-do list that you need to tend to. You don't have time to do little petty nonsense like washing a plate for a grown woman that can really get up on her own and go to the kitchen and do that for herself. You know, you know, you don't have time to stop what you're doing as a productive working man to do her laundry, you know? And I know this is a very uh, petty examples, but I just want to really highlight how childish and childlike um, these females can be in their behaviors, right? So steer clear of her because this type of female that is childish, best believe she is also a huge distraction. Everything is going to fall on you. Every responsibility, every uh, obligation, everything is going to fall on you all the time. And this could really become overwhelming for you as a man if you do have a lot of things that you need to tend to. And dealing with childish women, it's exactly like having a grown child that you're in a relationship with. And that's unfair, right? It's extremely unfair. When we enter into relationships, People are supposed to be complementary to our lives. They're actually supposed to lighten our loads, not lay all of their loads onto us. And this is what childish females will do. You guys, before we move it along to the next thing on our list, we have got to acknowledge today's dope sponsor and that is none other than Tej Hanley the greatest uncomplicated skincare for men out there just like you and you guys I'm getting ready to run this footage and we'll be right back and once we come back you guys y'all be sure to head on down to that link and click it down below and order your box of your Tej Hanley check this out okay crown heads you already know I'm super excited about today's sponsor. You guys have absolutely heard me talk about them before, and I'm pretty sure you're going to keep hearing me talk about them because I know the positive impact their products will have on your life, okay? And that sponsor for today is none other than Teach Hanley, okay? Seriously, crown heads. I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in every aspect of your life. Teach Hanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. I recommend you guys start with their level one system, which comes with all of the basics. A daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, a morning moisturizer with the SPF 20 
and a nighttime moisturizer. Oh, and to make it super easy, Crown Heads, Tej Hanley will provide you with an instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order to use it in. It definitely comes in clutch. But you don't have to take my word for it because they have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers from all over the globe. This isn't something you want to put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self will thank you. Now, in addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, and you can pause and cancel at any time. And you guys, it's free US shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my crown heads a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Like seriously, that's an amazing deal. Click that link below and get started today. All right, you guys, let's move it along to the last thing on our list as far as the three types of women that you do not want to date. And that last thing on our list is a woman that is extremely combative. All right. You want to steer clear of combative females. These women will always pick a fight. These females will always find a way to argue to have a disagreement and for some reason when it comes to the combative woman it's almost as if she finds some kind of humor or some kind of fulfillment out of always being confrontational or always being on the opposite end of you know whatever your stance is right and this can be extremely a, annoying and it can also cause you unnecessary stress with dealing with a combative woman. You know, this is the type of female that is always going to try to find any way to uh, have some kind of debate, have some kind of argument just to try to beat you at something, right? It's almost like, it, they have some sense of um, enjoyment or take some sense of enjoyment out of competing with you all the time. And again, when it comes to a relationship, you never want to be with somebody to where everything is a competition and everything is an argument and everything is a debate. You want to be able to have a woman that, I don't know, maybe can challenge you from here and there, you know, from time to time, just to kind of make sure that you're sharp, right? Make sure that you're making the right decisions or whatever the case is. But when she's kind of doing this for sports, right? Or just to get some kind of reaction out of you, you know, that's when it's a big problem, right? So, for example, a woman asking you, or telling you rather, look, I don't agree with this. I don't feel like this is the right thing to do. I actually feel like this would be better uh, opposed to what you initially um, were thinking of doing. You know, if she's doing that and you feel like by her bringing up certain things it's actually to help you to make the, the best and the most wise decision, that's fine. It's nothing wrong with your woman bringing certain things to your attention that way you can make the best decision possible. You know, um, having opposing views can be healthy sometimes because maybe she's going to bring something to the light or bring something to your attention that maybe you did not see clearly initially. But by her bringing that uh, opposing view or just giving you a whole different outlook and perspective, it can actually help you to make the best overall decision and choice for yourself. But a woman that deliberately goes out of her way to always be confrontational, always be combative, always go back and forth just to have a one up on you or just to say, yeah, you know, I'm better than you or I beat you at something. That's problematic. That's toxic. And you do not need to waste your time and energy 
dealing with a female like that. Again, that's that's extremely exhausting. It's draining. And ultimately, it can be extremely counterproductive. You know, you need a woman that is going to um, be supportive of what you're doing. And uh, you need a woman that will ultimately have your back and it's on your team, not always trying to go against you and butt heads with you. Again, you guys, that's too much. You know, when it comes to relationships, you need a woman that you can relate to. You need a woman that you feel like supports you, uh, respects you in the whole nine. And the woman that's always combative and trying to compete with you, that's not going to turn out well, all right? You're going to be extremely exhausted, extremely drained. You're going to always feel disrespected, and you just never should feel like that within your relationship, all right? So that is my list, you guys. I want you guys to put a one in the chat. If you've ever dealt with a narcissistic woman, put a two in the chat. If you've ever dealt with a childish woman, put a three in the chat. If you ever dealt with a combative woman and put a four in the chat, if you've dealt with all three of these types. All right. And also I want you guys to explain to me, how did you deal with these types of women? You know, um, were you able to correct certain behaviors or did you just have to bow out gracefully? All right. Y'all let me know. Let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. And again, you guys make sure that you head on down to that link and get your teach handy. You need this. Okay. This little box right here is going to save your skin's life. Okay. Trust me. Every man should have a box of teach handy. Okay. But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I thank you guys so much for pulling up with me. And let's get the conversation started. Much love and peace.